Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rahul. So, last day I posted the T4 Spring Boot MCQ set 1 uh, having 100 MCQs containing 12 topics in that. So, in this video, we are discussing about hands on. So, I know um, that so many are waiting for that. That's why I'm just giving one update regarding that one. So, from this cycle onwards, we are introducing one guidance program. Uh, so in that one we will providing uh, two to five hands-ons uh, two from IEVOL one that is the previous cycle one and two will be different which will be created by our team and it will be uh, exam based only like uh, uh, to it's like a mock test so whoever joining they can uh, have this mock test to make yourself confident regarding the main exam so you will get an idea how to approach and uh, within a particular time constraint that you can complete this exam like that you will get idea so like that we are preparing this uh, program and other things that we are providing in this guidance program how we will teach you how to uh, learn uh, that Spring Boot JWT with the Cruttles API and we will mention what all things you have to avoid and what all things you need to focus more in order to um, write this coding part and we will provide previous cycle MCQs as well as hands-on and mostly we are focused focusing it on exam based way so i will just give a brief or and demo how we are going to teach in this uh, uh, teach in this program so if you are interested then only you can join otherwise no issue for uh, free members it will be uh, other things we will provide like we will provide mcqs like this to everyone so there is um, no need to go for another because whatever mcqs that can be come for uh, main exam it will uh, it will be here you can go through that and another thing for free members here is hands on so for uh, those free members it will be like we will uh, teach you about JWT and uh, how to implement JWT with Cruttrust API and we will create one uh, application uh, this is a basic one will uh, teach you what all things have to uh, know while writing uh, JWT so these are the things that we are providing for free members so we will just make you understand um, how to approach a security based t4 spring boot question these are the things will be given for free members okay so uh, in this demo session i am going to do the 79923 in that we are uh, taking only one api which is uh, the public one and uh, we will first of all we will discuss the question where what to do with respect to the public controller then we will go to the test uh, test cases uh, like what all things are there in the test case so that we will we have to understand what to write and all and uh, uh, later we will write the code in our coding so these are the things we are discussing in this particular session now so uh, let's start so here is the problem of uh, 79923 here um, we have one vendor this is the McDuffie store here um, we have uh, almost one two three four five five tables and each table having uh so many columns each are uh, 
connected with other so like that we have the um, connections here so uh, based upon the roles we have to do the authentication part like uh, consumer and seller so these part will be uh, explained in the those who are joining session um, so uh, this is the basic part here we have to create apis uh, below are the public endpoints uh, where we have to use jwt authentication with the roles to protect consumer and seller specific endpoints uh, so another thing that uh, so many asked me whether is it jwt or, or authentication so clearly i am telling it's uh, jwt only because um, the last cycle before last cycle they gave one syllabus it's missing from me after that they didn't give any syllabus or anything so uh, and after that they didn't give any update regarding the security part so till now it's jwt authentication only if any update come then uh, we will also change it but currently the as per the syllabus it's jwt uh, security that we have to use in this protest api and we have bearer bearer token in uh, authorization request header so these are the things we have to do in each um, people like the consumers can search at and update and delete items in cart sellers can up and update and delete products to the database so based upon this we have to write the code and this is the api that i mentioned that we, what we have to discuss in this uh, demo session so here in this api this endpoint will take one parameter one query parameter which is keyword and it have to return whatever products matching the keyword uh, containing product name or category name and with the status 200 if it is an error or anything else whatever if it's a internal error or anything else we have to return the status 400 so why i am mentioning this internal error or something because something sometimes uh, if any other issue happens also we have to return 400 only okay so uh, this is the thing so that particular uh, api that uh, api public uh, product search in this question it have four test cases so just keep that thing in mind for particular for one api they have four uh, test cases each having their own users first of all this uh, product um, search status here this will ensure that a search request with a valid keyword return http 200 and that's why here you can see here this uh, mocks and http get request here get method okay and here it's asking for a parameter keyword with the value tablet means they need the um uh what today uh, means the keyword should be having tablet in the um, uh, list okay and it expect the status 200 means it should be there and uh, it expect um, uh, and it it is ensure that uh, the response body is not empty like that the first one okay this second one product search without keyword this one is used to ensure that if the keyword parameter is missing then we have to uh, uh, return 400 bad request that's i told if there is the particular keyword is not there okay we are um, if we are not giving any particular keyword then we have to return 400 okay 
here also we are using get method that's why in that uh, particular get we have four uh, test cases okay next product search with product name in this one this things okay here first of all it calls the endpoint here hmm? endpoint with tablet okay as the keyword and it expect 200 um, as the uh, return and stores the response in sorry result okay and here this one json array this one converts the response um, uh, json string into a json array that's the only thing here later this line mentioning it ensures the response contains at least one product okay means having this keyword it have to um, ensures that we have uh, at, at least uh, one product here and here this will iterate through each product in the response and that's why we are uh, here it's using for loop and it asserts that each product names contain tablet and here you can see it changed to lowercase and containing tablet okay so here it is case insensitive insensitive so while we are writing also writing the code we have to make sure that it's case insensitive only okay so this is the fourth one so this is product search with product name this one product search with category name here the same as this one only but here we are checking um, calling the endpoint with the keyword medicine okay and we are uh, converting the response to json array then here this loop okay which will be having the list of products and here this will extract the category name from the products category that we uh, fetch from the uh, from this api okay and we will assert that the category name contains medicine and that's also case insensitive so these are the four things we have to do uh, means four test cases um, that based upon this particular api for one api they are given four test cases okay so here the things what we have to check are for the first one we have to check valid keyword which returns result second one missing keyword gives an error third one searches by product name fourth one uh, this searches by category name okay so these are the things we have to do and based upon this we will write the code so uh, in this way we will explain the test case at first then we will write the code that's the pattern we are doing for this uh, program so uh, if you are interested you can ping me for uh, uh, further details and all so if you are not interested then you have to uh, you no need to worry because we will provide um, uh, jwt methods but it will be not in a exam based way i will teach it's like a uh, pure application that we will build with respect to jwt so don't feel bad about that just um, if you need you can ping me but i can assure one thing if you join uh, i will make you the hands-on part easier because this one larger program it will take more time but i will make you understand uh, what all things to write and how to write it in a faster way so just ping me for more details and all so see you in next video uh, in next video i will post the uh, for the mcqs regarding django uh, t1 mount mean 
and uh, other spring boot uh, mcqs that uh, which are pending okay so okay then bye